Hello and welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil and I bring you these super quick DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Today right here, I'm going to show you how to blur out a moving object in DaVinci Resolve. You can use this for many, many applications. Hey, if this video helps out, hit that like button and subscribe up. So we got the clip right here. Just make sure it's selected, have the playhead over it and come over to the color tab right down here. Now, once you're in the color tab, go ahead and go to the window tool right here. And depending on what you're covering, you can pick whatever you want. Rectangle is most commonly used, so we'll go ahead and select that. I'm zoomed in a little bit on here. Now, down here, I tend to not want these feathered at all. So this is the softness. I undo the softness there. And we'll go ahead and zoom, make it smaller. You can zoom a couple different ways. You can zoom like this, or you can come up here and grab the edges of it. Um, I, I usually find it easier just to go down there. I'll just put this right in the middle of the license plate. Now, this license plate is actually an American flag with the thin blue line or whatever uh, supporting the police. But if this was a regular license plate, perhaps you would want to blur this out for the video. Now, we're going to go with a size just bigger than the license plate, a little bit bigger. That'll be fine. So once you have that rectangle around the license plate, go ahead and click on this tab right here. This is actually the blur tab. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, over here for radius, you can drag this up. And go ahead and watch it. Boop, it blurs out. However blurry you want it, we'll just go max blur so that you definitely cannot see that license plate. We'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Now this one right between those two, right between them is called the tracker tab here. So click on the tracker tab and then this play button right here, track forward. And it will go ahead and move forward in the video. And this should stick to it pretty good. It's not always perfect but we'll see how it goes. It's tracking, it's actually getting a little narrower and a little taller. I think that's its way of trying to cover its bases to make sure, but what you can do is come back, and as you see, it's getting too narrow. We'll, we'll call, say right here, maybe it's gonna get a little bit too narrow. It's getting too wide and too narrow. We'll pull this up and make it a little less tall and move it back down in the middle, and we'll pull it out to the side here and make it a little wider. Make sure it's covered over it again. Go ahead and play forward. And see, it's tracking with it, so it's not sticking right in the middle because my screen is staying still, but the, actually, it is technically tracking the license plate. So we'll go ahead, we got the full thing. We'll go ahead and make sure, one last time to make sure it tracks it. We'll go ahead and get rid of those uh, dots there. And you can see the whole way through there, you cannot see that license plate at all. So hey, if this helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe up so you never miss any of the future videos. Peace out.